This is just a picture from the label of a spruce shelf I bought for around $15. As you see, it's 18 millimeters thick, 20 centimeters deep and 2 meters long, and if you're speaking inches, it's about less than an inch thick and more than an inch deep and a couple of inches long. And I'm gonna cut it right here in the middle. And these are some scraps from an old spruce shelf I bought a long time ago. And these are 20 millimeters thick and that's about one inch. I'll split them both into two pieces so I can make an upper and an underside of it. And this is also the place where I'll mount the shelf. The first thing I needed to do was to trim down the previously cut side of this because it was so bad and a tiny bit of the wood actually decided to go explore the abyss of the table saw as you see here. And I actually started off by not taking away enough material so I had to adjust it down just one millimeter so it would cut the whole length. And next I trimmed the opposite side of the boards. And now I have these two pieces that are both 5.8 centimeters wide. I use this sensor finder to mark the middle and from this angle it actually looks like the middle is 3 centimeters in but it's just the line and the perspective, it's actually 2.9, it's just the angle. So I rip it down the middle and I had to take into consideration that the saw blade is 2.6 millimeters thick so I put the fins at around 2.9 instead of the 2.8 so the blade would actually cut down the middle and that leaves me with two strips that are not precisely but pretty close to 2.8 millimeters no 2.8 centimeters wide. After ripping I cut the two strips into length and off camera I also cut the shelf piece into length but uh, that was kind of the same process and I forgot to record it so excuses. Now I want to figure out where to put these two mounting pieces so I find the difference between the top and the bottom piece and then the length of the shelf. So I take the strip and I put it on top of the shelf and then I make sure they line up on one side and then I measure the amount of space that's left on the other side. Then I divide it in two to see how much space goes on each side of the piece and then I leave a mark just a bit further in so it won't show later, which actually ended up not being necessary at all since it would be sanded away. There will be some screws going all the way through the shelf and into the opposite piece and I want to offset them so they won't interfere with each other. So in the first piece I make marks for four screws and the second piece I make marks for three screws. And as you see here this is kind of how they will be put in and how they will go and not interfere with each other. I pre-drill since I'm pretty sure the wood would split otherwise, um, but this drill is not that good and it definitely needs to be replaced. I also pre-drill holes on the shelf, but for some reason my camera gets sleepy at this point and luckily I noticed shortly after, but I had to change the resolution it records in. Well, here's how I made the marks on the shelves, but I should have drilled the holes on my workbench instead so I could drill straight up and down instead of these crooked holes and I actually ended up with one bad hole too. And then I put some short screws in that'll only go to the shelf piece and not all the way through and into the other and opposite piece. And I do this so the piece will sit flat while I screw the opposite piece in and then I can take out the first pair of screws I used and then replace them with the screws I'm actually gonna use. The screws I will use are some screws that go just about 7mm into the opposite side. It's not enough to crack it because it, it's not more than this, but if they were longer, I definitely had to pre-drill these holes as well. Now I need to make the mounting holes, and again, this time I offset the holes so that in case you don't have drywalls, you won't get in trouble when drilling holes into your wall. I drill the holes from the back, even though I should have done it from the front, but I drill them from the back and I use a four and a half millimeter drill. I was a bit curious on how strong this shelf would actually be, so I mounted it on the wall and wanted to test it. At first I just used my hand to see if it had any flex to it, but it wasn't that bad and I actually put a lot of force into it and didn't really flex that much. Then I took my vise and I put it on the front portion of the shelf. 
I wanted to see how heavy it was, so I put it on the weight and it showed error. But then I tried to put it down slowly so you can see how heavy it is. And when it gets to around six kilos, it errors out. So I would guess that it's about six, seven kilos. And then a bit of soul fuel, energy juice, coffee or whatever you call it, a quick clean up and then getting ready to sand after disassembling, of course. And when you sand, it's very important that you wear a mask because these fine particles that go in your lung is forever bad if you let them go in there. And if you're exposed a lot, of course, but your decision, I would do it. But before sanding, I took my plane and I chamfered down the edges of the mounting pieces since they were a little bit too sharp for my liking. And when I started sanding, I started with the 60 grit paper and then I went to an 80 grit and 120 and actually ended it with a 240 grit but I guess that I could probably just have used an 80 grit and then a 120 grit and that would have been fine and as you know it I'm probably seen many times before if you make these pencil lines on the material you are about to sand then you can see whether or not you sand evenly and if you're sanding enough on the material you're about to sand and right when I thought that I was done, I remembered that I actually also needed to do the corners and the edges too. I'm actually making two shelves. One of them I will stain with some walnut stain and the other one with this black stain. And the reason why I do this is because these shelves are actually supposed to be given away as a gift for two of my friends who both just bought a house and this is like a tiny moving in present. I will also make something else and maybe you'll see that in another video. After staining the pieces I let it sit for about 20 minutes then I come back to wipe off the excess. Some days later I go back and I put the shelves together again and I tighten the last part with a screwdriver because I have more feel of the force that way. And since the shelf will be given away as a gift I don't really have any before and after pictures. Uh, I guess only after pictures because the before you already seen you saw how I made this but yeah I don't have any after pictures so Mounting it here on my shop wall will be the best I can do for now, except for some really bad photoshopping. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.